MindBridge presents UN Jobs International, a YouTube channel dedicated to providing the latest job openings in the United Nations. Our team carefully selects and reviews the best UN jobs to recommend to our viewers, helping you find opportunities to make a positive impact on the world. Today, we are excited to share a new job opening by the UN OCHA. The Operations and Advocacy Division of the Office for the United Nations Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, UNOCHA, is seeking a humanitarian affairs officer for a temporary job opening in Islamabad, Pakistan. OCHA is a branch of the United Nations Secretariat that coordinates humanitarian actors and provides a framework for their contributions to emergency responses. OCHA's mission is to facilitate effective and principled humanitarian action, promote preparedness and prevention, and advocate for the rights of people in need. The selected candidate will report to the deputy head of office, UNOCHA Pakistan. The United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, UNOCHA, in Pakistan works to provide coordinated humanitarian support to vulnerable communities affected by natural disasters, conflicts, and other emergencies. The program focuses on delivering life-saving assistance such as food, shelter, and medical care to those in need, while also promoting sustainable recovery and resilience-building initiatives. UNOCHA Pakistan works closely with the government of Pakistan and humanitarian partners to ensure that aid reaches those who need it most, and that interventions are aligned with the humanitarian principles of humanity, neutrality, impartiality, and independence. In recent years, UNOCHA has played a critical role in responding to emergencies such as floods, earthquakes, and displacement crises, while also supporting the development of more effective humanitarian response strategies and contingency plans for future emergencies. Let me to explain responsibilities of this position with UNOCHA. The Humanitarian Affairs Officer, under the Delegated Authority, will be responsible for a range of duties to support the Office for the United Nations Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, UNOCHA. This includes monitoring and analyzing emergency situations in Pakistan, organizing studies on emergency relief and disaster management, and preparing reports on humanitarian developments. The officer will also participate in large, complex projects, coordinate international humanitarian assistance, and partner with other humanitarian agencies to evaluate assistance programs. Additionally, the officer will establish and maintain contacts with various stakeholders, undertake field missions, prepare written reports and documents, review policy issues, and participate in workgroups, meetings, and conferences. The officer will provide guidance to new and junior staff and perform other related duties as required. Now I would like to discuss about the key competencies required for this position. A humanitarian affairs officer should possess a strong knowledge of humanitarian assistance, emergency relief, and human rights issues. She or he should possess strong analytical skills and be able to work effectively under pressure, providing guidance to new and junior staff. She or he should take pride in their work, demonstrate professional competence, and observe deadlines. Incorporating gender perspectives and ensuring equal participation of women and men in all areas of work is important. Planning and organizational skills are essential, and teamwork is key in achieving organizational goals by valuing others' ideas and expertise and accepting joint responsibility for team shortcomings. Let me tell you what are the work experiences required for this position. Candidates for this position must have a minimum of five years of experience in humanitarian affairs, emergency preparedness, crisis and emergency relief management, rehabilitation, development, or a related field. This experience must include work in the field in emergency situations. The candidate should also have experience in analyzing, drafting, and editing official reports and correspondence. Previous experience working in a humanitarian context within the UN Common System or other international organizations is preferred. Now I would like to explain the educational qualification required for this position. The eligibility requirements for the position advertised demand candidates to hold an advanced degree in certain fields such as political science, social science, international studies, public administration, economics, engineering, earth sciences, 
or related disciplines. Nonetheless, candidates with a first-level university degree may also apply if they have at least two years of relevant work experience. This flexible provision enables individuals with practical expertise to be evaluated for the position, giving them a chance to demonstrate their abilities and knowledge. Although an advanced degree is preferred and selection is based on the candidate's overall qualifications and experience. Now I would like to explain what language proficiencies are required for this position. Fluency in English is an essential requirement for the position, advertised by the United Nations Secretariat, as English and French are the two working languages utilized by the organization. The candidate must be able to demonstrate advanced level reading, writing, and speaking skills in English with accuracy and clarity. Knowledge of another UN official language, such as French, can be advantageous, but not mandatory. While proficiency in other languages can be beneficial in some scenarios, fluency in English is a strict prerequisite for the advertised post. The application deadline for the position has been set for April 24, 2023, in accordance with the Pakistan Standard Time. It means that all interested candidates must submit their applications on or before this date, keeping in mind the time zone of Pakistan. Any application received after the deadline will not be considered, and the selection process will move forward with the applicants who have submitted their applications before the deadline. Therefore, it is crucial for potential candidates to keep track of the deadline and ensure that they have submitted a complete application package on time. Thank you for tuning into our YouTube video. If you found it informative and engaging, please consider subscribing to our channel, giving it a thumbs up, and sharing it with your network. Your support is essential in helping us create more informative content, especially for those interested in the new job opening in the UN system. To stay updated with our latest videos, don't forget to hit the notification bell. For further information and to apply online, please visit the UNOCHA job section on their website by clicking on the web link provided in the description section below.